the real distinguishing features of the HPX core program is sort of what we keep repeating uh, to everyone is it's real, it's interactive, it's social. So let me spend a little bit on, uh, on a little bit of time on each of these. What is real? We have 20 different companies, real companies featured in our course. These 20 companies from all over the world, several are actually from India as well. Uh, we go, we interview the CEOs, we have uh, high quality videos of the factories, of their uh, labs, of their workspaces, and uh, these people are talking about real world problems. So this is not something from a textbook, it doesn't look very pedantic, doesn't look very academic, it looks like a real case. It's been actually livelier, richer than a real case in the sense, if we compare to a paper case, this is on video. The second one is we also, I mean, we do have, we keep this video short, it's about two to three minute videos at a time, but we keep coming back to the same companies again and again. We also have videos of professors, but again, there are two to three minute videos. So no 20 minute videos, no 30 minute videos, that's boring. Second, we made it very interactive. We developed like 80 different interactive software elements that are customized for our program. And Every two, three minutes, you have to take a quiz, you have to take a drag and drop something, you have to take a poll, uh, you have to go online and search something, you have to upload a video. So there's a lot of activity that you have to engage this software with. That means it's like fast paced and it's quick. And uh, that's sort of what the new generation needs. And the last thing is uh, it's very social. We have group projects. If they don't understand something, we tell them post online. And we give them credit for it. We grade their class participation, which is basically what the comments they're posting online. So they can either ask questions and get credit for it, or they can answer other people's questions and get credit for it. So what we find is that the students are very good at teaching each other. And we very, very rarely have to intervene because the intervene is we find that they have reached the wrong conclusion, but usually they're very good at teaching each other and it's been working out fantastic for us. Um, the fourth element here is that we have an exam. Uh, we have teamed up with the person that administers the GMAT exam. So there are 4,000 locations in the world where you can go take this exam. Wherever GMATs are offered, you can go take our HBX score exam. And at the end of this program, based on your performance in the online, which happens over a 11 week period, there are all these quizzes that you're taking, plus the proctored final exam where the ID is checked and uh, proctored. Uh, it, they, they, they get to give you a certificate that tells you in which percentile of the program you are, uh, what did you score in each of the three courses, the midterm, the final exam, the quizzes, class participation, and what's your final percentile, what is your grade out of 800. So this is something that they can use for putting it on the resume, uh, so the employers can evaluate each student, compare them to other students. So it's really got uh, sort of everything that you look for in a certificate or a credential. And the last thing I would say is that people, when they give feedback towards the end of the program, they feel that it was customized for them. Why do they feel it's really customized for them? That's because through the program, the software is smart enough that it senses where you are. It gives you 10 questions. If you get nine of them right, it moves you to the next concept. If you get only three right, it tries to teach you the same concept in a different way. So last time it might have been with a video, this time it deals with a graphic, and then it comes at a different way and then gives you another 10 questions. Very different from the first 10, but testing similar concepts. Again, if you if you got 10 or 9 out of 10 right, it moves you to the next concept. If not, it will be giving you more questions. The other thing that you haven't done yet, which you plan to do, is to remember the mistakes that students make and just sort of test them on the same mistakes for three weeks later. So that's the sign of the way in which you can make this really customized for each student. 